what's good everyone so in today's video i'm going to be showing you exactly how to get the best possible in video control panel settings because well that's why you clicked on this video but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into the video first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is right click on your main home page of windows and click show more options and click in video control panel now you might not have nvidia control panel now if you don't what you're going to want to do is go ahead and actually not go to chrome instead go to um microsoft store and what you can do is you can search up in nvidia control panel it should be right here and just go ahead and click download and you should be able to download it like that then you can just x out of it so then you can right click right here or you can search as well right here on the uh, right here on the search and go to more options and open up the control panel now when you first open it you might have to accept some things which if you do don't worry it's really fast it does not take long at all there's no sign in okay so the first thing you're gonna do go ahead and click adjust image settings with preview and go to use advanced 3d image settings right here but first what we're gonna do is go ahead and use my preference image sizing slide this performance okay and go ahead and click apply the screen, screen's gonna freeze for like a second and click use advanced 3d image settings right here click this and click take me there and basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure you copy every single one of these settings one, like some of the most important um, settings that I would make sure you have for sure is power management mode right here make sure this is on prefer maximum performance and um, touch filtering quality high performance negative LED bias that's on clamp and just make sure everything here and threaded optimization trial and optimization make sure these are all on control buffer and off but yeah you can pause the video and copy every single setting that is on manage 3d and uh, yeah then go on and just click yes go ahead and click apply then just make sure this is processor make sure this is on your gpu obviously and go to change resolution and make sure you're on your maximum preferred refresh rate so for me it's 240 hertz pretty obvious some people do forget it and actually don't notice but uh make sure your resolution right here in this little box is on 1920 by 1080 native or whatever your native uh resolution is so it might say 4k obviously the 4k resolution but make sure it says native right here native okay then what you go ahead and do next is adjust okay so this is a little tip that uh, i actually give most people um not only really whatever game you play uh this this tip will help a lot you can go ahead and change your digital vibrance you can change it all the way up to like 75 you can you can, you can mess around with this as much as you want but what this is going to do this is going to make your games look way 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 more vibrant and it kind of looks like you have an oled panel even though you don't even if you don't have an led um monitor it still makes it look really good and it honestly helps for people who have like tn panels which you know tn panels are pretty horrible so set up g-sync um right here on this side set up g-sync so if you have a g-sync monitor which most people these days i'm uh, considering g-sync came out probably five years ago plus probably even more than that you can have this on uh if you want so if you want it on just go ahead and click on and you can enable it for both windowed and full screen but uh yeah thank you all so much for watching the video uh if you guys did hopefully enjoy this video if it did help you out in absolutely any way don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already using creative code switch in the atom shop please feel free to type that in and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one stay safe take care and as always stay blessed peace out